I'm Rose, and I am going to show you what we're working on today in the in the workroom. Um, I got a client. They had uh, cabinet doors that they wanted to be restained to something dark. And when they were original, you can kind of see this yellowish weird finish. And it was I think it's been sprayed on some kind of a stain mixed with the top coat because. Um, didn't seem to be going deep into the wood. And when we, we were going to first do an application of water-based gel stain on it to, to bring it to a darker tone, which works really good if your top coat on there is stable. But as soon as we put the sander to it with a very, you know, I think that we did a 120 on it, um, the stuff started flaking off. And so we ended up with uh, pieces of wood that had some parts where the, the lacquer was still on here and then the other parts where it went to the bare wood. And so this is what happens when that occurs. It doesn't look really good. It's, um, if you want that really distressed kind of look, then it works for that. But this isn't the look that the client wanted. And so hopefully I'm getting, you can see it in the light. It's just, it, it takes in some places, the stain took right, like right here, but it didn't take here because here um, it had some of that top coat left on there and over here it had gone to the bare wood. So it just simply doesn't work. You can't use a gel stain, whether it's water-based or oil-based and have a really nice uniform look if your top coat, if, if when you sanded it, um, it goes down to the bare wood and you have some places where it doesn't. So. Now, what we've decided we need to do is, um, because they don't want to paint, which is the next best solution, is, so we're stripping it all completely. And we've been left, there's this part right in here, which we can't get the, the sander to get into, and it's going to take too much time to use with a little sanding block to get it all completely out. So I'm stripping it using the orange stripper that is uh, supposedly safe <laughs> when you're inside. It has a really strong odor and hard to live with, so we, we gotta keep the ventilation, the doors open and stuff like that, but it, at least it won't be as harmful and it's not gonna eat through these gloves like, like some of the other strippers will. So I'm just gonna paint it in here in the, in the places that I need that top coat and varnish to come out. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you scrape it out. And then these pieces, what we're going to do um, is apply the General Finishes RTM stains, which is re ready to match so we can match the exact color that they want. And that stuff only works on bare wood. So that's what we're gonna do next. And because this is oak, it does not need to have a, a finish uh, or a clear coat put on there first before we do the stain. But if it was uh, like maple, birch, alder, hickory, poplar, basswood, pine, cherry, or any of those, because they are um, a harder wood, it needs a clear base coat before you apply any RTM or water-based stain on it. So that's all for today.